Hey, hey everyone, welcome to another YouTube painting process video. As always, like and subscribe to this channel for more of these art videos. As you can see here, I am going to be painting Wonder Woman. Now, I will never call myself a comic book fan, but the new Wonder Woman 1984 movie kind of piqued my interest. And the fact is that I did like the movie three years ago, so I figured since I don't really get the, much of a chance or a reason to draw comic book characters, I want to start off with this one and discuss a topic that hopefully will inspire you to really take chances when it comes to your art. It's appropriate for me to be painting Wonder Woman when it comes to this topic because prior to the Wonder Woman movie, the DC Universe was universally panned by critics and fans alike. And Wonder Woman really shocked a lot of people when it came out because it was such a quality difference between that and something like Batman vs Superman or other less than stellar movies. Now I can't say 1984 is as good as the original one, but still, and I'm not going to act like I know the comic book scene too much, but I do believe that a lot of fans see Wonder Woman as carrying the DCU on her back. This goes into the topic of today, which is you only need one. What I mean by this is a lot of times I hear people talking about how they're not feeling confident in their work or they just don't feel motivated to do anything because they're worried about the result of what they do. And going into this Wonder Woman piece, I had that same thought. I kept telling myself that I've never drawn, painted comic book characters before. It's going to be very tough to do superheroes justice. Why would I ever start? And that could really be crippling if you think like that for more than just the subject matter. A lot of times people fall into the trap, the downward spiral, where they start thinking negatively about their work, and then they start thinking more negatives and more negatives, and they have to overcome all those hurdles before they even start making their work. I can't even imagine what it might have been like at Warner Brothers when they were thinking about making Wonder Woman after all the less than stellar movies that they've created, I'm being as nice to them as possible of course, that maybe they should do something else, take it to new directions and or maybe just not do it. You'll find that a lot of times when corporate studios they start to see failure, they'll end up making hard decisions, either to just cancel it or changing it up entirely. And I'm glad that they didn't go with that when it comes to Wonder Woman, because I just find that they found the right actress for her. And lo and behold, as you would imagine, Wonder Woman three years ago was a really good movie. This is something that you have to overcome in your art as well. I said in previous videos that I'm not really about motivation anymore, more like discipline. But even then, a lot of times, it can be very hard, especially when I'm taking chances, to convince myself that what I'm doing will not be a waste of time. Even with this piece, it took quite a longer time than I usually do because it's a different subject matter and I was really experimenting to see if something would work better and wouldn't. I was learning on the job basically. But as the topic implies, you only need one. Once you jump into the deep end and figure how to swim, 
the next time you swim, you will do better and better, do it faster, and eventually you find out that you really learned quite a bit more than if you were to play it safe. And what do I really mean by playing it safe? It's not only about being motivated or unmotivated to work on something. A lot of times, a big part of art is having to force yourself to learn new things, especially as you get better. When you first start off, you're always going to be learning and that becomes a great motivation. But once you start being a professional, it gets harder and harder because there are diminishing returns to how much you can learn. So in a lot of cases, people can fall into the trap of autopiling. And I see that as the, a similar form to just not doing much because when you are just autopiling, you're not really learning new ways to improve your work. You're not taking chances and you're just doing the same things over and over again which of course if you are making any mistake you're just replicating the mistake over different pieces so you need to have that one piece jump into the deep end where you are doing something different and seeing what you can learn from it this mentality works for any type of creative work you need that one movie that will revive your franchise you need that one painting to spark up new ways to tackle your work. This is a great way to think about it because it makes it a lot easier to digest when you only need that one painting. And I'm usually trying to seek ways to get that one painting. And once, you've, once I finish that, then the next one will be that one painting and so on and so forth. I'm always looking to find new ways and when I do that naturally I'll improve and you can use this sort of way of thinking to help you as well. Anyways hopefully you enjoyed the talk and hopefully you learned something new here. If you've made it this far I really appreciate it and I do want to mention that I am going to be releasing a book next year a cyberpunk themed book that you can check out at a day in january.com you'll find all the relevant links down in the description below anyways i'm going to leave the rest of the video for you to watch you'll see me doing a lot of hiccups in this piece and just trying a lot of different things but i've already mentioned that it's not going to be the smoothest run but i did like the end result so hopefully you do too Thank you for watching and I'll see you 